Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this really useful meal planner in Word. So let's open a new document. And the first thing we need to do is to reduce our margin so that we maximize the space on our page. So if we go up to layout, go along to margins, click on the drop down, and then select narrow. Now we may need to adjust these again slightly, but if we do, I'll show you how to do that. So the next thing to do is to insert a table. So we go up to insert, go to table, but click on the drop down and go down to insert table. Now having rehearsed this, I know that I need five columns and 37 rows. So I can enter it in there and then click OK. Now, as you can see, my table doesn't stretch right across my page or right down the page. And that's because when my table is inserted, my rows are very narrow. So we need to extend those to make the height of them much taller. So the way to do that is to select the whole table. You can either click on this square at the top here, or you can just simply click and drag across your table. Then go up to layout and then go to this height section here. In here, input 74 or 0.74 centimeters and just hit enter. Now, as you can see, we've got two cells that have gone over onto the next page. So what we need to do now is to go down to our rulers. If you can't see your rulers, go to view and then make sure that ruler is checked. Go down and hover between the white and grey section until your cursor changes. Click and drag that margin down. Once you've dragged it down to about there, go to the top one. Again, do exactly the same. Hover between the grey and white area. Click and drag up until that border disappears, till the cell disappears from the previous page but just keep moving them until that page disappears. There we go. And once it disappears, you know that you're not gonna print out two pages. Now, before you click away from your table and you've still got it selected, if we go up to layout, we can go to this section here, which will dictate where your text will lie within each cell. So at the moment, it's lying to the top left, but I want all of my text to align to center. So I'm just going to click in this box here. As you can see, that shading slightly changes position. Now, if we go back to the design, you can see there's a space right here. So we're just going to create that one now. So all I need to do, hover my cursor over a line, this one here, and you can see it changes. Once it changes, click on that line and drag it over. And again, we'll do the same with this one and just drag it over here. Now to create the space, we need to get rid of border lines between the cells. So if we click and drag all the way down this column, what we need to do is to get rid of these borders. Now they'll still be there, but what we're actually doing is just making the border lines invisible. So to do that, go to table design, we go over to this borders section here, click on the drop down, and you can see you've got all of your borders selected here. So what we need to do is go to no border, and then select the column next to it, because we want to put back this line that runs up here. So select that column, go back up to borders, and we want to put back in the right border. Click on that one, you can see the right border reappears. And then again, do exactly the same with this side, highlight this column, go back up to borders, and then just check left border. And then you can see that left border line appears. And what we've done is create that space between the two elements. The next thing I want to do is to insert my text. But I'm just gonna move this over very, very slightly just to give us a little bit more room to write in our meals. And then the reason I'm starting from the bottom 
is because then we'll maximize all of our cells and then we can put the title in whatever we've got left. So I'm going to choose to put in snacks, you don't have to, then dinner, lunch and breakfast. So what I'm going to do now to make this quicker is just to highlight all of those bits of text, press the command or control key to copy it. I'm going to leave a space here for the day, then count up one, two, three, four cells, place my cursor in that cell and press command or control V, or you can just count up five. One, two, three, four, five, click, Command or Control V, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And now just to count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days of the week. Perfect. So now we need to merge these two cells and put in the day of the week. You don't have to, you can just put it in here if you want to. But if you want to copy the demonstration, then this is how to do it. So select these two cells, go up to layout, and go to merge cells. Then we can place the text in. Again, do that here. Merge cells. Merge cells. I'll just go and merge all these cells and then I'll put the days of the week in. There we go. Now just put in the days of the week. Perfect. And now we're going to create the title up here as we've done on the demonstration. So we're just going to create this bit here. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of these cells and we're going to merge them. So again, on the layout tab here, merge those cells. Now before I click away, I want to get rid of this border here and this border here and this one here. So again, go up to table design, go to borders, click on the drop down and select no borders. But again, we want to reintroduce the border across the top of this Monday cell. So click on Monday. Go back up to borders and select top border and then that will reinsert that line there. Then we can go up to this cell and place our text and then I'm going to highlight my text, go up to the home tab and go along to the font section here just to increase the size of it. Now you can either do that by using the drop down or I use tend to use this increase font size tool. So I'm just going to click on that until I'm happy and then I'm just going to go along highlight all my text and just turn it bold just so it can stand out a little bit more from the rest of the text then I want to turn these cells here grey if you just look at the design here you've got these grey cells again just to let that stand out a little bit more click in the cell go to table design and then go along to shading. This icon here is the shading within your cells. If you can't find the color you want, you can obviously go to more colors and you've got this color wheel here that you can use and the sliders here and you've got a number of different tabs across the top here that you can use. But I'm just going to go for a simple gray and then once you've selected your color it will appear below the bucket. That means that color is now selected so you don't have to keep going back to the drop down. So I click on the Tuesday cell and just simply click on the icon. That makes the process a lot quicker. Okay so that's that section complete. We're just going to do the shopping section here and that's relatively easy. We just need to highlight these four cells here, go to layout and merge cells. We just type in shopping I'm going to select the text, go to the Home tab, and make that bold and just increase the font size slightly. And then all we need to do now, you don't have to number them if you don't want to, or you can simply merge all these cells so you've got a little bit more room to type your shopping, or you can just merge four cells at a time. If you need a bigger box, then just grab the four cells, go to Table Design, sorry, Table Layout, and then go to merge cells and that just gives you a larger box there to insert your shopping. All I'm going to do now is just insert the numbers so I'll speed up the video whilst I do that. Now you can go ahead and you can print this out or you can save it to a PDF as a file, it's completely up to you. But I hope that's helped you today. 
If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.